Let's get right to it. What is the future of machine learning? That's easy. It's data automation. As most of you know who have watched my videos, machine learning is around 80% working with data. Between sourcing your data and cleansing your data, I guarantee most of your time will be data-centric and not model-centric. If you still believe you're going to be building models as a machine learning engineer, I'd love to be around at your first job. If all my time is working with data, it doesn't make much sense to do the sourcing and the cleansing repeatedly. Companies want repeatable processes. If I'm on vacation, other people should be able to run my job that cleanses and sources the data so they can have fresh data to work with. Creating repeatable processes in machine learning is called machine learning operations. I can automate every facet of the machine learning pipeline. Now, if you don't know what the machine learning process is, I'll put a link in the comment section to a video I completed on that. The first step for most real-world projects is going to be data sourcing. That means I'm going to need to author the SQL code to extract the data I need and then export that data to a CSV file for cleansing. Now, I could also cleanse the data in the database, but that's not a good idea. The next question is, how do I do that? Companies have a variety of tools for this. Companies actually might have a few tools for this. Most of the shops I've worked in are SQL Server shops. That means they have a tool called SSIS. I can use this tool to automate all the data processes for centralizing my data, exporting that data, and then moving that data anywhere I want around the company. How do you learn machine learning operations? Well, like all machine learning jobs right now, there are no entry-level jobs for these roles, so you don't. These roles are going to be very heavy SQL. That means you're going to need to come from a data role or have two to three years of real-world SQL experience on your resume. Now, you could get a head start by learning SSIS. However, what if the company you're working for isn't a SQL server shop? They're not going to use SSIS. Additionally, many of you are starting from scratch, and that means you're three to five years away from any ML role. A lot is going to change in that time frame. And when you get your first job, there may be a new tool out that may be the greatest thing since sliced bread. Once again, your best approach is to attain an entry-level data analyst role and then move on after you have solid SQL skills under your belt. You're also going to need to automate the data cleansing aspect of the pipeline. However, you're first going to need to know what that is and how to do all that manually. All right, let's wrap up. The future of machine learning is ML operations. ML operations is nothing more than automating as much as you can of the machine learning pipeline or the machine learning process. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.